Hello and welcome. Before we start this uh, video, please click on that notification button, hit it right there, and subscribe to our page so you can always know when we're going to be having these type of videos or other videos up. But let's get to it. Why do I think government is like a business? Well, I'm going to break it down into four steps. As a business person, as a personal and as the government. So you can see that these are all tied in together and you need to understand where you, what you're doing and why are you doing it? Because business is part of brainwashing. So let me tell you why. Number one, visuals. If I'm standing here just like this, take away this, take away that. You know, I'm taking these logos and all this stuff away. It's going to be plain. It's going to be a plain thing. But let me bring back the, the logo. Matter of fact, let me bring out this lower third. Government business. Take the gov. So you see all these visuals that pop up? That's us. A store. If you go into a store and you see a lot of visuals on sale, sale now, clearance. You know, and you're going into this business, your mind goes crazy. Ooh, I got to go get that clearance. I got to get the sale. Oh, wow. That's why sometimes they say when you go into a store, keep your mind on what you want. Go and go. Grab and go. Grab and go. Because if you start looking around, you start seeing sales, you start seeing things. That's why they put all these visuals all over the place. That's why when you go to 42nd Street, you're amazed with, oh, my God, what's going on? Well, that's what the government also does and is doing putting up these graphs of the uh, climax is going up, it's going down, it's leveling out, is this, is that. So they throw all these visuals up there, even now where the uh, mayor of New York City and the governor of New York City are fighting to get some airtime. One comes early in the morning and then the next one comes. They have a visuals right next to them. As soon as they say one word, it pops up. Visuals, because you always would think of that. Same way the movie theaters, uh, the movie, not the theater, the movie itself impacts a lot of people because the visuals is what impacts the eye and the memory. So that's one. Two, word play. Play on words. Either way you say it, it makes a big, big difference. If you go to a store, and you see something for like say 50 cents, let's just say, you might not want to get it. Mm, ah, 50 cents. But now here comes a big visual and the word on play. Two for a dollar on sale. You grab it more than you would grab it if it just said 50 cents. You see what I'm trying to say? But what about this? What about if I put on sale, limited time, Buy one for a dollar, get one free. You'll grab it even faster. So your mind seeing that word of play. One dollar, one free. Two for a dollar is the same thing. Fifty cents, it's the same thing. But it's the way you word it. That's how it goes. How the government is wording it. Would it sound more, would you have more fear or more urgency to do what they want to do if they would say 2% of the people in the United States are dying from the virus. Would you be more scared? 2%, that's a very low number. Right? Or will you be more scared if they say 98% of the people that is getting this virus has been surviving? Would you be Scared? Would you be more fearful to do what they want? No. That's the reason why they put the numbers of the death. They would never hardly put the numbers of the survivors until now. But when they first started, they kept pushing it. And they'll put a couple of survivors, let's say, they'll put the net, but they'll go quickly through it. If you don't notice, that's what they do. They'll go quickly through the survivor. And then, but now that it's winding down to look good, they're going to be speaking more about survivors 
because now they're going to look good by saying what they did help all these people survive. No, that's many people were surviving before. Word on play. So watch that. That's the word on play. That's what they do. So instead of worrying about how many people have been dying of this, they from the beginning, if they would have put the 2% people were dying from this, or they would have put 98% of the people surviving, or 70, you know, a big number, let's say. Uh, the last time I checked, it was 2% people were dying. So if they would have put that, you would have never been in fear. You would have never realized why are they closing the, the, the stuff down. You understand what I mean? Word of play. Business. Money. It all comes down to that. Number three, something that we can't get, uh, even as me as a businessman, is endorsements. If you want to sell something, you endorse it. You push it out there. If you go in the streets and you hear the music, the DJs in the, in the, in the store, boom, 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 you're more likely to go to that store because they're endorsing it. If I'm a big celebrity and I'm endorsing, let's say, this show, you will be most likely to watch it because in our eyes, they place the celebrities as gods, singers, all of these guys as big people that whatever they do, we want to do. So that's the perfect thing to do. So what they did, they made celebrities, pay celebrities, not volunteered, pay celebrities to do commercials. See what I mean? So business, government, same thing. They endorse, they, uh, they endorse the, uh, the virus even more. So number four, give them a sense of urgency. I learned all these four steps in business. Um, without these four steps, businesses had tend not to make it. So if you're trying to make a business, these are the four steps. There's other steps. I'm not saying these are the main, uh, the only steps, but these are like the main four top steps you want to do. Sense of urgency. If you go to the store and you see that same sign saying on sale, one for one dollar and get one for free, you will, you will buy it. 60 to 70 percent of, of your body will say buy it. But if they throw another sign up there and say, why limited uh, limited edition or while supplies last get it the last 10 the first five that does it but now you got that you know that that urgency that you need to take it you need to get it sense of urgency is everything to a business you have to make them seem like they needed it they want it and things same thing with the government do this. You need that. You want to survive? Go do this. And you didn't even think about it. You didn't use common sense or anything. You just jumped and said yes. Because they made you feel like you needed the sense of urgency. So to break it down, business and government are the same. They first give you visuals. They do wordplay. They do endorsements. And they give you the sense of urgency. So you see what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that the virus is not something that's out there and it's not something that you need to not worry about. I did not say that. So before y'all jump, because a lot of people, they don't listen. They hear stuff, but they just don't listen. I'm speaking about how the businesses and the governments are the same. They are, especially in business, you have to be an opportunist. You can't just say, oh, wow, and let that pass you by. You need to jump in there when you could. The government, man-made virus, whatever virus it made, they, if they didn't put it, if they did put it, that's not the point. The point is that it was here, they seen an opportunity, and they taking it to endorse more money, to put more money. They want this, they want that. Again, the visuals. Let me give this person a thousand and two hundred so they can look here like a magician. Look at this hand. Why this hand is doing something else. So that is what they doing. So just think about stuff and remember, put your judgment in your common sense and put your judgment 
in what you know and what you see. Not on what people are saying constantly because they're saying pretty much the same thing. Use common sense. Use the education they gave you. Science still is right. Education is great. So, hey, business and government, are they the same? That's up to you to uh, decide. All I did was put two, two things together, and you make your own decisions. So, until next time. Bye-bye.